Hello, I'm Luke from Waves, your tech reviewer. For those of you who don't know, we are a member of Euronics, Europe's largest independent electrical buying group, offering you the best products, the best prices, while still shopping locally. Now today we are reviewing the Sonos Roam. Now I've had this for a few weeks, it took me a while to get to actually reviewing it. So we've got the white one and we've got the black one. So we'll go through the unboxing. These are both completely brand new sealed boxes. I've not listened to them yet. They've been selling quite well in the shop. It's Sonos's truly portable speaker. Now, I know they've got the Sonos Move, which is portable, does have Bluetooth. You can take it outside. Not fully waterproof, it's splash proof. These are fully waterproof and lightweight and portable, where the Move is quite a heavy thing. You won't want to be taking it down to the park, where this, you can just throw it in your backpack. But Let's get started. We'll take a look at the box, see the features that it said it's got on the box, and then we'll get it unwrapped. So you can see they come in some really nice cardboard boxes. So to give you an idea of the size of the actual speaker, this is my mobile phone. It's the Samsung S20 Ultra. So it's a large mobile phone, but you can see the speakers are really small. The smallest speaker that Sonos has produced to date. Now on the side, it says the portable smart speaker for listening at home and on the go and on the side you have the icons of what the speaker actually has so you can see it's got bluetooth it'll be 5.0 but it's also wi-fi which means you can connect to your existing sonos network and you can stream your music services like amazon music or spotify now the next one down you have the microphone so that means it'll work with google assistant and alexa Next one down is the Apple AirPlay symbol. So it'll work with your iPhone, your Mac, and it is Apple AirPlay 2. The next one is, if I get it in focus for you, is IPX7. Now, I thought these were actually IP67. The difference between them, IPX7 is waterproof up to a meter for 30 minutes submerged, and IP67 is the same, but it's also fully dustproof. And if I when I went on the Sonos website, it did say it's IP67. So I'll try and find out exactly which one it is, but I'm pretty certain it'll be IP67. So I don't know why it says X7 on the back. Right, let's undo the tabs and have a look at the Sonos Roam. So for this, we'll move the white one out of the way for now. And we'll just concentrate on opening the black version. So we'll just pull these tags over there, one there, and one at the top. You can then finally see the Sonos Roam. And it comes in a really nice cloth bag with a little sticker on there. So let's unstick that. And there it is. First time looking at it. So it's a matte black. Got a real nice feel to it. It's kind of soft plastic. You've got your little four plastic feet there. I'm assuming to make it a lot more stable when it's on the table. It's quite a triangle shape. You can actually use this down like that. When you put it down, it says it will fire the sound upwards or you can use it standing up as well. So this does have a wireless charging unit built in the back. Now, the wireless charger doesn't come in the box, um, but it is an extra that you can buy. But let's have a look what else does come in the box. So you've got your little setup book just here. So it tells us, press the power button to turn it on. So the power button is on the back. Just press and hold, I would say. And then I think the light comes up across here. Let's just leave that for a second. Maybe I've got to hold it down a little bit longer. It then says you have to download the Sonos app. Now I already have the Sonos app, so I'll just open that in a minute to connect to it. And then at a glance, let's have a look. It's just telling you what the buttons do. So we've got a play and pause button. So a single press will play it. A single press again will pause it. If you double tap, it'll go to the next track. If you triple tap, it will go to the previous. 
and you've got your microphone and the volume up and down so let's see if I can get that into focus it's quite hard to see it I don't think we're gonna be able to show it properly because it's black on black but basically you've got a little white light uh, right at the top so when I press the microphone I can have the microphone on or off so you don't always have to have it on listening to what you're talking about you've got the play pause button in the middle then the up and down buttons just there now I don't think I turned it on so let's hold down that button a little bit longer oh there we go we can now see a light has come on so we've got a green light so that means or I think it means it's ready for pairing but we'll leave that alone for a couple more seconds and just see what else is in the box so I've got this USB cable I can get a bit of plastic off of it so you've got your standard USB to your USB C sized plug and it's actually angled right angled so that'll fit nicely in the back there I'm assuming as well then so if we put it down if I turn that round yeah that doesn't foul up on the table at all that's a really nice design cable now that is everything that's actually in the box so it doesn't come with the USB plug um, not an issue because it will just work in any standard plug so you've got them when you've got your phone anything like that you can plug it in to charge it up right let's get my phone and we'll go through the setup process okay so i've got my mobile i've got my speaker hopefully you'll be able to see this all right i can see there's a bit of reflection going on there but if we press on the sonos app if you haven't already got the app just download it and then this is how you install it and what i've just noticed i haven't pressed anything else and it's actually come up sonos roam ad now i've already got my bluetooth enabled on my phone so i'm assuming it's just picked it up because it's on so if we just go add it says turn on nfc in your mobile device settings so we can get the pin code saved on your product to verify you can turn the nfc off after setup so if we just find nfc on my phone so that just means near field connection so you can just i think just tap and it will come on so let's go back onto it Right, touch your mobile device between the feet of the Sonos Roam exactly as shown so we can get the pin code. So, just like that. I can hear that, hopefully you can hear that's coming on. Now it's actually saying, make sure you tap using the back of your mobile phone um, and if you've got a case, take it off. Now I do have a case on here, so let's take that off and click on try again. And just tap it on the back Click on new, tag collected. And why are we not getting any further on this screen? Let's have a look. This site cannot be reached. This isn't a good start. All right, let's go back again. Cancelling. Your mobile device couldn't connect to your Sonos Roam. Let's try something else. So continue. The passcode printed on your Sonos Roam is required for setup. Allow your microphone to access to retrieve it automatically. So use microphone. For quick access and easy setup, allow microphone access so your mobile device can detect nearby products. You can turn it on after setup. So allow microphone while using this app. And continue. So discovering the Sonos Roam. It's making noise. It's not found it yet. Here we go connecting to your Sonos Roam. Connecting to my network, the Sky Network. Now I'm assuming it should have worked a lot simpler than that, but these things happen and it's not that difficult. We've just been pressing a few buttons. So it's still connecting to the Sonos Roam. I may edit this bit out because it's taking quite some time. So basically it's just connecting to the network. Here we go. So it's adding your Sonos Roam. There's an update available for your Sonos Roam that must be completed several minutes um, and before you can use it. So what I'm going to do is do the update, um, updating your Sonos Roam. This should take several minutes. So I'm going to leave this update in and then I'll come back once that's updated on my Sonos app. Right, it now says your Sonos Roam has been added. You can continue personalising it in settings. Click done. 
Sonos Roam can use auto true play to adapt to your environment. So Sonos has a thing called true play used as the built in microphones on um, the actual speaker to detect the best sound for your room or if you're outside. So if I click on continue and enable, that means you're gonna get the best sound possible from your speaker. And that's done already, so that's really quick. So there we have it. That is the Sonos connected to my system. So if I go back into system and find that speaker, Sonos Roam, it's saying at the minute it's offline. I think it's still downloading. Here we go. So it says Sonos Roam 48%. So it must come pre-charged to about halfway. So I'll charge that up a little bit later. Apparently on a full charge, that will do 10 hours as well. And I will test that out. So if we click on there, we can actually name it. Uh, for this, I'm just going to keep it as Sonos Roam. Um, right, I'm going to find some music and listen to it for the first time. Okay, so the easiest way to get into this speaker is press the middle icon. That will display all my speakers. So we'll go to Sonos Roam and then I can use the search arrow at the bottom to see what song I want. So these are my recently played ones. If I just go click on that one, Sultans of Swing by Dire Straits. Click on that. And that should send it straight to, oh, sorry, I pressed it twice, straight to the speaker. There we go. Now, you can use your volume control on your phone to turn it up and down. But I'm going to try it on here as well. Oh, yeah, got to press them pretty hard, actually. And pause it. Right, I had that at maximum. That sounds good. It did go slightly crackly, maybe, at maximum. So um, I'll test that out more. But I'm quite impressed with the deep bass sound that I had on such a small speaker. There's, there's nothing to it, it's tiny. So um, what we'll do, I'm gonna go through and do a few other tests on it. It says it's waterproof. It says it can be dunked in water. I think we should test that out. So Sonos say this is fully waterproof and dustproof. Let's test it out. Still playing through the shower proof. Let's submerge it. So it's in the paddling pool. Apparently, you can go one meter down for half an hour. There you go. That's still playing. Another really cool feature I like is the pairing. So this speaker is playing at the minute. If I want it on this one as well, all I have to do is hold down the play pause button for about a second, make a slight tone, and then they're both playing the same song. So we've now got a stereo group. Now if I wanted to stop that, I do the same thing. I just hold it down for about a second. That's gone back to there, and it has one more feature. I can steal that music and put it onto this. So basically if I hold it down for more than a second, there'll be two beats, and I've now got the music on here, but this one has stopped. And again, if I wanted to put it back on that one, I would do the same thing. Just hold that button down, two to three seconds, you hear a couple of tones, and it's back on there. I've been testing out this little speaker for about a day now, and I'm really impressed with it. Really versatile, you can use it anywhere. Take it to the park, take it to work, I'm going to keep mine in the shower room. Eventually I'm probably going to put ceiling speakers in, but at the minute this is a great alternative. It doesn't matter if it gets wet and the sound is really good. At the minute I'm just using my phone and putting it on loud and obviously that's really tinny. This is going to solve that problem for me. It's also got the voice controls. So remember you can set all your scheduling up on there. Use it as your smart home assistant. Really like it. At the minute this product is only £159. 
And of course, you can get it from us. Just click the link below, that will take you straight to our website. But overall, I would give this a big thumbs up. Please, if you're not already following our page, like and subscribe. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next review.